M0FXP. We're on the PrepCom MMX0. This decodes and encodes CW using audio at the moment. There is the other version, the DMX40, and that actually has a QRP transceiver. There's a new model now uh, that covers more bands. 10% discount if you log into the account or on the website, the PrepCom website. So this is the latest model. I'll put the link in, of course, but it's got a, a transceiver. So, you know, you don't have to connect it to your radio. At the moment, I thought I'd quickly connect it to my 991A. And receive wise, all I've done is turned on the clarifier, to be honest. I've tuned in to a station and it's not even a very strong station. Then I've pressed the, calif the, sorry, the clarifier here and I've gone up plus five, nine, five hertz until it started decoding that's all i've done there are um settings that are recommended and this device is is tra it is designed to transmit as well and you would just connect your second cable the out cable here to the morse key connection on the 991 which is on the back i believe the audio in that's coming into this device it just comes from the 991 at the front like so. Now they are saying it should be a 1300 hertz sort of shift for this to work properly. And you, uh, you achieve this by making two adjustments. If you press the menu here and go down to about, I would say 51, 50, they are. You've got some adjustments. Now I'll say to Eric, if he's watching, do we adjust the high cut? It says 1200 here. So he, these are the settings that we've got to tinker with. On CW. I think it is that one. I've left it at 1200. Menu 52. And to come out, you just press menu again. We're in CW. If you press the mode, CW LSB. See, 40 meters just hit the band. We're shifting 600 as well. So if you add the two together, 600 and 1200. Um, that's 1800 shift. So let's go back to the decodings. I've only just done this. That's why I, I, uh, I'm all over the place. But you can see what we're doing anyway. The way I'm listening to it is this cable here splits into two. You can put one into a powered speaker, like a PC speaker. But I just find I join it to my computer and then I um, just use my OBS software to um, to listen to it. You can select monitor. So I'm monitoring on my, you know, my 991 you're hearing in the background. So what do you think? I mean, is it decoding or not? Because I'm not sure if it's, this is in English. And we can play more when there's a lot of signals. I'm going to try again. But my friend, uh, Gus, has asked me to do this. So this is pretty much what I would be doing to try and get it working on a 991A. Hope this helps. Bye for now.